Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, just stopping by for the first time, maybe I popped up in a what's up next or notifications, um, thanks for stopping by. My name is Elizabeth and my channel name is Chi-Town Girl. I'm really happy to be here with all of you. For those of you that are already part of this family, you guys know what I'm gonna say. It is me time, oh my goodness. Friday night, and we have just had some major storms rolling through here in the Hudson Valley in the state of New York. I am positive that Ivy probably heard them and felt them. I know Miss Judy, um, I hope you're safe and sound. I know Miss Judy felt them because I was in the area uh, where Judy lives, not too far, and storms were just cranking. I was shopping in Dollar Tree and the power kept going on and off and on and off. I'm like, oh no. And it was starting to happen while I was like getting ready to head to the checkout. And I'm like, you know what? I better check out before the power goes out and they tell everybody we have to leave the stores. Cause like I just spent 50 minutes in here. All right. So every single item in this video, a buck and a coin, a dollar 25. Every single item in this video came from the same locations throughout the Hudson Valley, which is where I currently live. And that's in the state of New York. I do just want to mention a couple of things. Um, thank you all so much once again. Yay, we made it to 12,000. Our family is just growing and I absolutely love it and I couldn't have done it without all of you. So I just want to say thank you, thank you. Our winner, uh, winner for the 12K was Miss Robin and Robin has claimed her prize. It's all boxed up ready to go her name is on the package and it's leaving first thing tomorrow morning so with that being said many of you have um chimed in and said you'd like to do another sesame street giveaway so we're gonna do that um i am gonna give you not oh i'm not sure keep your eyes and ears open i'm gonna give you some sneak peeks of what's gonna be going into the video um it'll be an all sesame street video again and um, just keep your eyes and ears open and we'll go from there. All right, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. I'm gonna start in the department where I love to find my socks. Okay, uh, don't mind me here. Um, it was raining so bad. I came in sopping wet, trying to get all my stuff in without it getting wet. Threw my hair up, grabbed myself a brew and said, me time, here we go. All right, these are women's size six through 11. These are the color navy, and you're gonna get two pairs of trouser socks. I remember my mom wearing trouser socks, and I always kind of thought they were silly, but now I think about it, who wants to wear a hot pair of nylons up to here if you don't have to? So two pairs, and these are in navy. I also found two pairs, and these are in the black. I'm gonna show them together so you can just get an idea. There's the navy. There's the black. And last but not least, and this is by, these are by Juncture. Um, two pairs and these are in the nude right there. So these are always nice if you have to, you know, you're going out and you know, you gotta get dressed up. But like I said, you don't wanna wear nylons up to here. That's a great alternative um, in that department. Also in the sock department, just two pairs to share with you from Juncture. I thought these were really cute. These are women's sizes five through nine. It was this pair with these pretty little stars in this light blue. And then this pink pair here with the white hearts. These little smiley faces I thought were really cute. And then this pair with all the pink lightning bolts I thought were super fun. I go through socks like crazy. And probably most reason is, is because I happen to, you know, a lot of people run around barefoot. I do but I run around with my socks on all the time, even outside, so I've been that way since I was a kid. Uh, I don't know what it is. Okay, let's go over to a few food finds, which I was kind of like, ooh, these look interesting. These are by Harvest Hill, and Harvest Hill, um, bear with me, where is this made out of? Really, Beth? I've only had one beer, it can't be, where was this made? Oh, okay. Uh, Chesapeake, Virginia. So this is basically a Greenbrier product. This is pasta salad, 50% more free. This is basically, it says, just add mayonnaise. Creamy Parmesan. 
So I thought that would be a nice staple to keep in the cabinet. They also had, by the same company, 50% more, and these are 5.5 ounces, by the way, ranch and bacon. I make this all on my own, um, big tubs of it, which is really yummy. But like I said, this is a nice little staple. You know, hey, if the power went out or whatever, you got to add just one little thing. I thought that was cool. This I thought was a pretty cool find, and I've never tried this kind of soup before. Campbell's. Who doesn't love a good Campbell's bowl of soup? This is Mexican style chicken tortilla. It is a 16.1 ounce can. There it is right there. It looked very interesting and I thought, hmm, I wanna give this a try. So I grabbed two cans um, in case I do like it. Um, if I don't, well then I can always give the can to someone else or donate it to the food bin right down the road. We just have open up by the way. So I grabbed some of that. I did find this and I thought this was kind of interesting and this is by a company that's called Tom and Ollie, Ollie, and it's garlic mayonnaise, um, 8.8 .8 fluid ounces. This is made, I think it's in Turkey. Yes, it's a product of Turkey, but it comes out of Jersey. Um, I thought that was interesting, so I grabbed one of those as well. You just cannot go to the store when you have the munchies. I grabbed a five pack of the mounds because Elman Joyce got nuts. Ooh, mounds don't fair. My boyfriend likes those. I'm ugh. love the smell of coconut. I love the smell of coconut. But to eat it, it's like, and no offense, I know there's lots of people that love coconut, lots of people that love fruitcake. I love the smell of fruitcake. But for some reason, when I get like too much coconut in my mouth or I get any piece of fruitcake in my mouth, I don't care how minuscule the piece is, I'm like, Ugh! never mind, we won't go there. Um, I bought Twix the other night. They didn't last long. So now I got a new one. Thank God. Dangerous. And then all of a sudden I had a taste for a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. So I grabbed me one of those as well because these are yummy. Yummy in the tummy. All right, so let's get out of the food finds and let's go over to um, housewares. And it's just a couple little things, but I've been showing you all these little simple kitchen mitts. I found some more in a different pattern. Here is this pattern, which is really nice if you have these types of color tones. Here is the backside, um, really cute. One of my um, family members here had recommended making puppets for kids, absolutely. Stick some eyes on there, put some hair on there. You absolutely, sorry, I had to do it. You have a puppet. Now this one was cool, but I thought this was interesting. So I've already seen Halloween. I haven't filmed any yet because that's like way too, way too far for me. But I had to grab this because I just thought it was cute. And I'm pretty sure this is Christmas. It has reindeers. It looks like pheasants, <coughs> bows, ribbons, holly and lights but look at how cute that is so there's your design all the way around and all the mitts if you're wondering are black on the inside there's not blue or brown or anything like that they're all black so two more patterns to add to my collection and in the department where you oops almost dropped that on the floor where you get all your soaps and things like that um brand name arm and hammer essentials Liquid hand soaps are back in some different scents. These are the 12 fluid ounce bottles. I love these soaps. They had the red, bleh, maybe I need another sip of beer. They had the ruby red grapefruit. I hear you laughing at me, Cheryl. There's the ruby red grapefruit and there's our proud USA. They also had fresh lemon. I've never seen the lemon before. I love to have lemon soap in my kitchen. Um, I didn't even give this one a sniff test because I don't sniff test nothing in Dollar Tree because um, they got funks all their own. Oh yeah, that's nice. Very, very nice. So yeah, these were scents I hadn't seen before. Um, I didn't even give this one a whip, this red ruby grapefruit. Speaking of grapefruit, I haven't had a grapefruit in a really long time. Oh, that's lovely. That was random, right? I haven't had a grapefruit in a long time. Now I'm going to have to go to the store and get grapefruit tomorrow. All right, let's go over to something here for the puppies. Um, I got this for Miss Mia and I just want to put my two cents in. So this is one of these round plastic bowls and it says P 
positive vibes all the way around it. I need to back my chair up. I feel like I'm getting all in your face this year. Um, just my two cents. In the summertime, I always have water out for Mia. But in the summertime, um, in the house all year long, I have stainless steel bowls for her. I used to have a stainless steel bowl outside for her. And then one day I went to go pick it up to put water in it and the bowl was hotter than a son of a, you know what? I was like, whoa, so the bowl's this hot in the sun, what's the water doing in the bowl in the sun? And sure enough, that water is like boiling, it's hot. I don't want her to burn herself. I don't wanna go down that road, so that's just me. So I made sure I got another plastic bowl this year for her for outside, for her water, because even if there are water bowls in the sun, it's still gonna heat up, but it's not gonna heat up to the temperature wood in a stainless steel or metal bowl. That's my two cents. I say no more. All right, I found a few things in the makeup aisle. Um, I'm gonna share this thing. Well, this is in the makeup aisle, but this is more for your nails. I got a couple of these when they came out a while ago, and my nail tech, actually, when she saw them, she's like, oh, I gave them to her because I thought, oh, these are just like what she uses. Here's the purple one and here's the one in black. And if you don't know what they are, I'm going to open this up and show you without doing it because I don't want to cut my own nail off here. Well, it's not my nail, but I don't want to cut my tips off here. Did that sound right? I don't want to cut my tips off here. All right. So it's almost like a pair of pliers or grippers. Okay here is a razor so what happens is like when we go to the salon and stuff and we're getting our nails done and they want to instead of doing the buzz they'll ask us to trim them down we slip our nail right through there and they go Kloop. it's like cutting a dog's nail it's an even crisp straight cut if you're not getting them buzz this is how they do it because if you were to use a pair of regular clippers it doesn't give you the same force as this mechanism would at the same time as one clip. Again, just my two cents. Okay, this I thought was a great buy and this was in the makeup department. This is Revlon, which is a brand name, been around forever. Thick Stick Foundation. Now these to me look like they're mini sizes, but again, that's just me. They are 0.16 ounces and they are foundations. I was like, wow this looks really cool so here it is right there that's what it looks like i found three of the same but different colors because i was looking on the boxes trying to see okay are any of these colors going to work but it's really there's nothing on the box to compare what the color is going to look like on the inside so i found three different ones <clears throat> the first i'm just going to open these up with you because like I said, there's no way to tell. It gives me a name and it gives me a number, but it does not show me the product. So here it is out of the packaging. It is number zero one. I love the color froth. I need a nice frothy beer. Okay, so let's open this up. It's cute packaging. All right, so this is what it looks like. Again, it's number 01, and the color is Froth. Extremely light, like really light. I was like worried it was all going to be super dark, but let me just put that on. So that would be, for me, more of like under eye. There it is. Let me just double check this again. It's a foundation stick. So this one is that one. Again, the color is Froth. The next one, and hopefully this will help some of you out if this is something that you're interested in. I am pretty fair skinned, but once you get me out in the sun for like a week or two, you know, I don't know that makes a difference. That makes a difference compared to my arms. All right, so this is number 33, and the color is hazelnut. I think this one's going to be darker. Here is the tube for that one. So this is hazelnut and there's the color. So I think that's gonna be too dark for me. I could always mix it with another color, but there it is right there. Okay, 
I have one more to share with all of you. Yeah, it kind of sucks that you can't see the color anywhere, but I don't know. It is what it is, as my mom used to say. All right, so the last one I'm gonna share with you is number 17, and the color is called Muffin. How cute is that? I mean, I could probably mix that um, one color, but I'm not sure. This might be a little bit more up my alley. Here's the tube for the third one. And again, this is Muffin. And there it is right there. I'm gonna put it, so here was the first one, second one, and there's my third one, which I think for me, that would probably do it. Um, let me just try to blend it a little. Mm, it might still be a little bit too dark. I mean, it blended pretty nicely, but because my skin is darker down here, so I'm not sure. So hopefully that helped you some by me opening a couple different ones to give you the idea of kind of what's out there. <clears throat> Two more things I just want to share with you. This was in the beauty department as well. And it was on like a little display where all the cosmetics hang up. And this is by Be Pure. I love the purple. Look at that purple packaging. It is a split end fixer. Not sure if it was in the wrong place or not, but it was a whole brand new display. Helps repair damage here. It is a four fluid ounce bottle. Looks just like that. If you want to know what kind of cap it's got, there it is right there. So it's basically a pump bottle. The last item that I'm going to share with all of you guys, and I'm just going to give you a tease because I'm good at that. I went down the toy department and I was like, oh, okay, I'm not going to find much down here. You know, it's kind of a blah night here in the tree. The lights are going on and off, but I was very happy. So I'm just going to give you a sneak peek. Um, this is by a company called, let me just make sure. <clears throat> It's by Toy Hub. And I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek of the box. There are eight different ones you can collect. And these are Mystery Micro Minis. There's a sneak peek of the box. Ooh, 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 that's all you guys get. <laughs> Until next time, everyone, thank you so much for watching. A thumbs up would be awesome. Greatly appreciate it. Maybe you'll decide to hit that subscribe button. Either way, until next time, everyone, have a wonderful evening. Bye for now.